to mark the release of Hotel Transylvania 2, let's take a look at 12 things you probably didn't know about the animated monster movie. Director Gendy Tartakovsky was pretty nervous about directing comedy legend Mel Brooks, who voices Dracula's father Vlad, because he grew up loving the comedian's movies. Indeed, in the late 1970s, some of the first movies Tartakovsky saw as a child after he moved from Russia to America were Mel Brooks's films such as Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. And Brooks's movies certainly came in handy when they were making Hotel Transylvania 2, as the filmmakers used them as reference material for drawing Vlad's reactions and expressions. As for Mel Brooks, well, he drew much of his inspiration in bringing Vlad to life on screen from his own grandfather. For the design of the monster camp, Camp Vamp, the filmmakers took inspiration from two very different places, which together gave them the right look for the kind of dark and private outdoor place that vampires might enjoy. The first was Yosemite National Park and its huge rock formations including El Capitan. And the second was the Norwegian town of Rukan, which used to spend half the year cut off from sunlight because of its location in a valley. Until that is, huge mirrors were placed on the surrounding mountain to reflect sunlight into the town square. When the character designers first created Mavis and Johnny's son Dennis, they drew him with a big mane of red hair like his father. But when they turned the design into a computer animation, they found Dennis's hair looked too big for his head to hold. In fact, Dennis's hair took up so much room that Mavis or Johnny would have needed arms twice the length in order to pick him up. And on top of that, his massive curls kept the light from reaching his face. So the animators gave Dennis a haircut. Six-year-old Asher Blinkoff, who's the voice of Drax's grandson, Dennis, isn't the only member of his family to appear in Hotel Transylvania 2. Asher's older sister, Mira, not only voiced one of the werewolf puppies in the first movie, but she's also doing some additional voices in the sequel, including vampire kids. Asher was especially excited to land the role of Dennis because whenever he or his sister gets a part in a film, it's a family tradition to go out for a sushi dinner. Also, according to Asher's mum, one of the highlights for her son of working on Hotel Transylvania 2 was actually riding in a golf cart around the Sony Pictures studio lot. Drax's daughter Mavis was designed by French artist Annette Marnat, who's based in Paris. The filmmakers never actually met Annette in real life, but thanks to her blog, they discovered her work when they were searching for character designers for the first Hotel Transylvania. The Hotel Transylvania movies are a bit of a family affair for Adam Sandler, who voices Drac. On the first movie, his real-life wife Jackie provided the voice of his on-screen wife Martha, and his daughters Sunny and Sadie also lent their voices to the film, with Sadie voicing young Mavis and one of the werewolf pups, Winnie. And Sunny and Sadie have returned for Hotel Transylvania 2. Sadie is back as werewolf Winnie, while this time Sunny is the voice of baby Dennis as well as one of the vampire kids. When character designer Carter Goodrich was looking for inspiration for the design of Griffin the Invisible Man, who's voiced by actor David Spade, he didn't have to look any further than his own nose, as Griffin's glasses are actually based on the ones Goodrich wears himself. The hairstyle of Frankenstein's wife, Eunice, is based on a Brillo pad. And Eunice's hair isn't the only rough thing about her. According to Fran Drescher, who voices Eunice, during her recording sessions, the filmmakers kept encouraging her to make Eunice sound gruffer, more obnoxious and more annoying. Barcelona-based designer Carlos Grangel, who contributed to the look of many of the movie's characters, including Murray the Mummy, hates designing on white paper. So instead, he drew all his monster designs on the inside of cereal boxes, which he prefers to blank paper because it has more colour and texture to it, which helps him get creative. In fact, Grangel asks fellow artists at his studio in Spain to bring in their old cereal boxes for him to draw on. Andy Samberg, who voices Dracula's son-in-law Jonathan, has said he based the character on himself in high school and on a lot of guys he knew in the Bay Area in California. Jonathan's the kind of guy who loves seeing the world and is super positive when faced with adversity. 
When Sony was designing characters for Hotel Transylvania, they had to be very careful about copyright issues. Although characters such as Dracula and Frankenstein's monster are in the public domain, Universal created specific designs for those characters in their popular horror movies of the 1930s onwards. So, Sony had to avoid certain features associated with Universal's classic monsters. For example, Frankenstein could not have green skin or bolts in his neck, and Dracula could not have a sharp widow's peak or a cape with a red lining. Also, instead of calling Frankenstein's mate the Bride of Frankenstein, they called her Eunice, and on top of that, she could not have two white lightning bolts in her hair. So, in Hotel Transylvania, she has just one streak instead. Now let me know in the comments below who's your favourite character in the Hotel Transylvania movies and why? And what would you like to see in the planned Hotel Transylvania TV series? If you enjoyed this video, do please share it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more things you didn't know, as well as movie reviews and interviews. Thanks for watching, yippee ki movie lovers!